customer history. <clears throat> customer history is the recipient of the archiving process out of the open item file. Now, when we purge from the customer history, we're actually doing a purge. So that when we go into AR utility purge, select our ranges. Cutoff date, range of customers, and again, because accounts receivable also has multiple accounts, we can do multiples. Uh, when we select our ranges at this point, we are actually getting rid of records. So this is the case where we would want to make our decision two years, three years, five years, whatever, because at this point, we're throwing away data. But again, if we have an archive company, we can be a little bit more rigorous or a little bit more strenuous about uh, how far back we're going to be purging this. And just to wrap up, let me just cover one or two of these other ones. The cache history file is similar to other history files in that, like the vendor history file, we want to be able to look up when things were paid. So how far back, it's the same logic. How far back are we likely to have to check when we got checks from customers and, and determine uh, that sort of thing? Uh, for most people, two, three years. For some people, maybe five years. Again, it's a matter of disk size and processing speed. So I put in a recommendation, two to three years, and I put in annually. This is not something you have to worry about every month, like, for example, potentially the distributions or the open item files. But this is something that once a year you should actually pay a little bit of attention to and purge.